Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to be exploring the wonderful world that is known as BuzzFeed. We're going to be trying five quizzes on this site. To start things off, we're going to try the quiz, which is named Wait. Is this quiz fucked up? I think I fucked it up. And it asks us, first of all, to pick a color. And it shows a bunch of animals. I don't know how this is color. But I like this. Pick a snack. Okay, there's a banana. Cucumber. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the banana. Pick a salad. BFF. Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> Katy Perry. Clearly. Hannah Montana. Beyonce. Vanilla Ice. And Ron Weasley. <laughs> Ron Weasley. It is. Wait, what, uh, what, I'll, I'll, if someone said, if someone yelled wait at me, I would go what, not uh, did I just fuck that up, yes, please let me go, now you're good, uh, <laughs> yes, you did fuck that up, oh my god, I always do this, I always fuck th everything up, it's okay, it's fine, these things happen, this is your fault, <laughs> maybe if I just press control or delete, don't do it. You j you can't. Just restart your mistakes. Ah 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 ah! Oh God! No, that's a big error. Um, which one do I choose? I go for this one. It looks tempting. Pick a circle from uh, Dante's Inferno. Limbo, lust, gluttony, greed, anger, heresy, violence, fraud, treachery. You got, you should visit Bali. Bali is the per perfect vacation spot for all your stress to melt away. The beaches will allow you to forget all your mistakes, all of them. I don't get this quiz. Alright, let's move on to the next one, which is, would you be a better date than my new man? You probably don't even measure up to him, but you can try. This is my new gentle, gentleman friend, Percy. Ooh, Percy. He's superb. Do you think you can compare to him at all? I doubt it, but I guess we'll find out. My, I don't know how to say that word. Percy takes me to Cheesecake Factory once a week. Where would you take me? What is he trying to make you fat or something? I'll take you to the Cheesecake Factory, but I'll buy you two more cheesecakes than Percy did. It's a competition. I will take you to Wendy's. They're having a sale on square burgers. Square burgers. Okay. I would invite you to my townhouse for a meal incorporating many spices from Spice Rack. I would give you a printed copy of Food Pyramid so you can pick which category of, f of food you'd like to eat and then we'll figure it out from there. I don't know. <laughs> There's no Wendy's in Australia. I'm guessing it's a fast food thing which sells burgers. Sells burgers? Uh, fuck it. Let's just go with the top one. Percy has, a very, Percy has very long arms which add to his handsomeness. Can you compare to that? No, my arms are too sh My arms are so, so short, but I can still reach things on high shelves. My arms are normal length, which I'm sure you'll find satisfactory. I'm willing to bet my arms are actually longer than Percy's. I have pretty long arms, but I think they're normal length. I don't know. I'm just gonna... Why does this even matter? Percy lets my son, Webster, watch him play golf games on 2010 HP Pavilion laptop. How would you spend time with my son? I didn't, I didn't know you had a son. Yeah, you should have told us before we began this relationship. I'm very sorry. I would read bedtime stories to your son. I would watch a series of documentaries of the War of 1812 with your son on Blu-ray. I would teach your son a new skill, like whittling. What is whittling? Whittling may refer to either the art of curve. That's fucking boring. Let's not do that. What is the war? I'm so uneducated about this shit. What is War of 1812? That is also fucking boring. <laughs> I didn't know you. I'll, I'll probably read bedtime stories, to be honest. Alright, I did... Oh, fuck, I didn't know you had a son. <laughs> My robust suitor drinks 12 glasses of filtered water a day. Are you as healthy as this man? Is he trying to drown himself? I drink 12 glasses of water a day as well, but it's not filtered. I never drink water, but I'm constantly doing squats. Percy may be physically stronger than me in every way, but I think I could win him in a battle of wit. Percy is but stronger than me in mind and body. I concede to him. I do not drink 
I mean, I do drink a lot of water, but I don't keep track of it. So I don't know. I will, I'll fight this guy mentally. When Percy embraces me, his long arms wrap around me three times. Three fucking times. Surely you've never enveloped anyone with such skill. You know nothing. I have and I can do it again anytime I want. I too have felt Percy's arm around me. But I know for a fact that you're only long enough to go around two and a half times. I'm sorry, but I'll never late. I'll never date a liar. I maintain that my normal length arms are satisfactory. Everyone tells me so. I literally cannot measure up to Percy. This is clear. Yes, Percy's too OP. <laughs> you got. You are no match for Percy. Nice try, but my handsome bro. Bill, what is this? <clears throat> A boyfriend. Oh, okay. It's better than you, and everyone knows it. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. How brave are you? Actually, let's go to the fear zone. Which scenario would scare you the most? Being mocked by a small group of very mean teenagers, chased by a gang of angry Best Buy employees, or wearing blue polos and khaki slacks. You are making out with someone hot, but they suddenly have tentacle arms? Being forced to wear nothing but tube socks and a hot pink baseball cap in public for three weeks. Someone emails your mommy and your daddy videos of you having weird sex. I am scared of none of these things. This. Which situation would freak you out the most? Standing on the edge of the roof of a very tall building. Oh fuck, already. <laughs> Being forced to stare at the blinking on your phone as you wait for a text for your crush for 20... Eh? Being trapped in an elevator with a hungry grizzly bear wearing the blue polo. Why? Getting framed for selling crystal. Uh, I think I'm, a, I'm really afraid of heights. Which situation would frighten you the most? Getting trapped in the basement, teeming with a wide vari variety of insects. Having to do a TED talk about your weirdest master. <laughs> Is telling members of your family. Oh, that's probably it. I don't think the rest even matter. I, I, I've come to the conclusion. But we'll we'll read through it. Being dozed with both LSD and P I wouldn't mind that. Having all your body hair shaved off against your will by sick freaks wearing blue What's with peep what's with this guy in blue polos and khaki slacks? Being sent by your boss or school principal to something called the blue bludgeon room. Which of these things would make you tremble in fear? Having your crush cruelly reject you and insist that you're so smelly on live television broadcast viewed by millions of people that'll be funny being tossed into the deepest part of a lake full of spaghetti and tomato sauce eh waking up discover up to discover that you have been tattooed so it looks like you're wearing your blue what i don't care about your blue polo and khaki slacks finding out there is a hugely viral meme with, with you making a very dumb looking face i would love that okay getting locked in a cell with someone who's been genetically modified to look and talk exactly like that would be freaking annoying. Actually, I don't know. None of these actually scared me that much. But if I had to choose, probably that. Which scenario afra afraids you the most? Afraids you the most? Is that even a thing? Being the guest of honor at an ornate orgy held at the estate of Chad Crow from Nickelback. Being forced to have a chain fight to the death with your best friend in the parking lots of Wendy's. Funny that everyone around you at all times can hear every single thought thing that you think. That'll be fucking. <laughs> you got not very brave. You're totally crippled by your fear, but you get easily frightened. You aren't totally crippled by your fear, but you get easily frightened. <sighs> and here we go. The ultimate fuck, marry, kill quiz. Sex, marriage, and murder are all serious business. Which Hemsworth would you fuck? Do I have to do this? Ugh. Okay. Which Hemsworth would you fuck? Um, but why am I being forced to do this? Oh my god, okay. Which one would you fuck? What are you, gay? Um, <laughs> god, I should fuck. <laughs> Wait, is that it? Okay. Wait, who would you marry? Probably him. Who would you kill this guy? I just did it in order. <laughs> oh my god, did you just really try to kill one of the hamsters brothers? Yes. Why does he keep doing that? You have never ever you've <laughs> you've never even met the Hemsworth brothers, but you can't wait to kill one of them? I was wondering where I was wondering if I 
Do you think you would be fucked, married, or killed in prison? <laughs> oh god, killed? You got it wrong, you'll be all three! Must be a Hemsworth fan. This quiz is great, and, it ju and I just learned there's a third Hemsworth. This is news to me. To me. To me. This person does a lot of buzzword quizzes. They have a lot of spare time. Just like me. And last but not least, the best quiz that I could find on BuzzFeed. It asks the age-old question, which is, is it time to pee? Sometimes it's hard to accept the truth. Do you think you have to pee? No. Are you sure? Maybe. Are you comfortable right now? Yes, and I don't want to move. Not really. Are you willing to make the trip to the bathroom? Lord, no, if I must. You should probably just go to the bathroom, but it's so far. Ah, uh, fine, but... Uh, but I, I just went to pee before recording this. But it's so far. Ah, oh, fine. It's so far. Did you just... Lord, no. You got... Don't you have to pee? You don't have to pee, but you will soon. I know it's hard to accept, but eventually you have to pee. And that means you have to move. I'm very sorry. I didn't invent the human body. Because if I did, I'd probably have gotten rid of that whole peeing thing from the start. You don't have to pee, but you will soon. The same. What's what is what a story, Mark? What a story, Mark! Alright, that alright <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. That's the end of this adventure that we had. Hope you enjoyed. I'll leave all the links to the quizzes in the comment no freaking not the comment section, but the description of this video and you can check them out by himself. Uh, and if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.